Happy Halloween, YouTube! My name is Clickwid, and I am back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the brand new, most feared and raged players that are in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. They're going to be in the game for the entire weekend. So, as you guys can see here on the graphic on your screen, it says that the overalls of all of your most feared players are now boosted through the weekend starting today halloween and going through sunday so as some of you are well aware the elites are going up and the golds are both going up the golds are going to go up to 95 overall elites to 97 overall and then there are some limited edition items that are actually up to 99 overall so the other thing that they did here was add a new monsters solo challenge which is actually one that you have to play against the entire group of in, um, enraged players. So let's see here what they are overall. I already did this solo challenge. Uh, won it just barely. Maybe I'll throw in a clip here at the end of uh, what happened to me, though, on the very first play. It's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, but it was kind of funny. All right, so as you guys can see here, you do get 5,000 coins. So make sure that you do this solo challenge before it goes out of the game. Uh, if you're having struggles with it, of course, search around online and you might be able to come across some videos that will show you some plays that will work against these types of teams that are really stacked overall. As you guys can see in the top right corner, I'm an 86 overall, so I don't match up very well against a 98 overall. I don't think anybody has a 98 overall team at this point that I've seen if... If somebody does, let me know. I mean, maybe with all of these enraged items, somebody might be up boosted up to 98, but uh, I don't think so. Um, I still think that most of us would be still sitting around like a 95 overall, even if we used the boosted players. Of course, unless we have like J.J. Watt and all of them and Legends and stuff, then maybe. But uh, yeah, anyway, you do also get a Halloween pack, which is going to, of course, contain three Most Fear badges. So that's not bad. You can, of course, use those to get yourself an enraged gold player. Or if you have saved up enough of them, you might be able to, able to even get an elite. So that's not too bad. But I wanted to go and take a look at the auction block real quickly here so that we can see what these things are going for. Because as we all are aware, they are boosted for, for the weekend. So, you know, maybe the prices are a little bit different on them. I'm not exactly sure at this point. Um, I know some of them are going for absolutely ridiculous prices. So here's the elites. I actually already had it pre-sorted for elites. Uh, cheapest ones. Let's see here. Buy it now price. So the cheapest one's obviously Brian Cushing, as you can imagine. 32000 for it. Uh, it goes up to a 97 overall, just like all of the rest of them. Phil Lodeholt's sitting at 35500 it looks like, at the moment. And this is like, well, 7.30 in the morning, guys, uh, central time. So, um... You know, it might change depending on how many people start to throw things up on the block as the day starts today. Cheapest one that's not a Cushing or a Load Holt is Terrell Suggs, and he's sitting at roughly 50,000 coins, and then Trent Williams, 52,000. So, not too bad. Um, I, I guess the prices aren't as high as I was expecting them to be, actually. I mean, considering that you are getting a 97 overall item for the next couple of days here. Uh, let's see here if they have any uh, limited edition ones, though. I want to go up to the top here and see if I can find anything. Uh, Pat Pete there. Okay, there's a Sue. All right, so there's your 99 overall most feared item. This is a limited edition one. 16 of 100, it looks like here on the PlayStation 4. Uh, some of these attributes are out of control for this item. I mean, we're talking 101 power moves. So this is, I think... Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is the first set of items that we've seen here in Madden 15 that actually have attributes over 100. So that's pretty interesting. I don't know if that's going to continue if, or if that's just something that they're doing for right now for the weekend while, you know, they're being absolutely ridiculous with the items. But, um, you know, I don't know if they're going to be starting to put out more items that have over 100 overall attributes because if they do, that's going to be pretty irritating for some of us that really enjoyed the fact that they didn't stack the hell out of players like they did last year but let's see here it's some of these other attributes 100 uh 100 power uh hit power so that's that's gonna cause some fumbles try running up the middle against this item 
yeah, this is going to be brutal if you try to do that, especially if somebody also has a J.J. Watt. Uh, that is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So uh, let's see here. I just want to double check and see if there's any other ones. Uh, yeah, looks like that is the only one that is up right now that is a 99. So anyway, uh, let's go take a look at the golds, see if there's any of those that are up for a decent price. And again, guys, um, you know, I, I don't really recommend spending a ton of coins on these because they are going to go back down to what their normal overall was, uh, which it really wasn't that spectacular. So as you can see here, uh, cheapest one is Chris Canty. Nah, 5,000 coins, pretty good. I mean, all things considered, if you're trying to win some solo challenges this weekend against some tough solos that you've been struggling against, maybe you could invest some coins and, uh, and do it and maybe resell them again before the promo ends. Or, you know, if you're in your Super Bowl or something like that, maybe you want to buy some of the more expensive ones and try and win that Super Bowl. But I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at these and I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I mean, 95 overall is great. Don't get me wrong. But considering they're going to drop back down, I just, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I'm that excited about them, to be completely honest with you. So, um... Yeah, so that's pretty much going to do it for this video anyway, guys. I just wanted to show you guys that they are in the game now and the prices on them are okay. Um, like I said, not spectacular. They're not super cheap, but then again, they're not extremely expensive like I was expecting them to be based off of how things began. I wonder what, what they would be sitting at if they wouldn't have introduced all of these different solo challenges though, because I kind of think that that wasn't the intention from the beginning. And then they saw people complaining about the promo and then they were like, what can we do to save this thing? Because this is an absolute disaster. It kind of looked like it was just going to be the worst promo that they ever did. I mean, when I put out that video, that's how I felt. You know, I really felt like it was just absolutely ridiculous to try and collect all of those items to even have a chance at getting the JJ Watt. But then once they, like, like I said, once they started doing the solos and then I know people have farm accounts and things like that, that they were doing these solo challenges on, then it became a little bit more reasonable to actually acquire some of these golds and, and even the elites. I still don't think that many people are doing the JJ Watt collection, but even if even if you aren't, you're still getting some decent items here with all of those elites, and even the golds aren't too bad either. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Again, happy Halloween. Please enjoy it. Be safe tonight if you're going out. If you're going out with friends, of course, be sure to know where they are. Uh, I know every year we hear about people getting kidnapped and that kind of thing. And don't worry about, like, the razor blades and the candy. That's BS. But, you know, there are creepers out there. So pl please try to be safe, guys. If you're going out there with your kids, of course, uh, don't let them just go out by themselves. Just make sure that you go out there with them and um, keep them safe. I'm a, I'm a caring father now. I can't be letting my kids go and trick-or-treat around the town, even if it's in my neighborhood, uh, by themselves. They need to be out there with at least friends, probably me with them once they do start trick-or-treating. But that's many, many years away, thankfully. Uh, she's only a, a month and a half old now. But uh, I'm excited for Halloween, guys. I'm not really doing anything tonight. But I do like to see all the costumes that people have when they come to... Um come to my house here's something that you guys could do for a fun little uh like a drinking game but don't make it a drinking game make it a candy game or something eat a piece of candy for every one of the frozen characters that comes by your house tonight if you see an elsa i think it's called i actually haven't seen the movie but i've seen already a ton of my friends are posting pictures of their kids with uh elsa costumes so well they're girls i shouldn't say kids but yeah if you see any of those though eat a piece of candy make yourself fat tonight enjoy it thank you guys again for watching this video i really hope you liked it if you did make sure you hit that like button and also be sure to press the subscribe button if you're new to my channel that is how you know when i put out new videos thank you guys again and i will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon on his way he's at the 50 the 40 the 30 the 20 the 10 and in for the touchdown, touchdown. touchdown. well it was a wonderful run by the running back no doubt about it he gets the touchdown but let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line they blocked him up front gave him that opportunity and then he made it happen
the Texans with an extra point try on the way. The point after is good. 